Yeah, he yeah. signed the J. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, he did this. They go up there, they beat the nigga ass, cut him up, fuck him up, take his jury. J. Prince put the call in, apply some pressure, Hocus go get the jury back, stand on stage with motherfucking J. Prince. J. Prince don't even know the nigga name. He like, yeah, <laughs> thanks to Hocus 4-5. Yeah, it was fun. It was comedy. It was comedy. He don't even know a nigga name. Hocus 45. Four five. That's what, he, that's what he called this nigga, right? Yeah. He go back down to Texas. The little nigga turns around, does a diss song on New York. When Hogan's go to the meeting, Jay Prince tell him with the label. The label tell him, yeah, you rap a lot, we'll sign you. If you rap a lot, Jay Prince won't get on the phone and say, yeah, he rap a lot. I'm finna fuck y'all up. So what if Hocus was the one who originally set up the whole thing and that's why he was able to get the chain back so Nah, quick? don't do that. Well, nah, he ain't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, give a fuck if he did do that. He did not it didn't come it didn't up, bro. It didn't help him. It didn't help him at all. What he did, it didn't help him. Didn't give him no credit, didn't give him nothing. He didn't even put no money in his pocket. It made him look bad, actually, from his city. It made him look bad from his city. That's what it did. His own city, disowned, like, they disowned him now. He, he really, that's why he left. He with Atlanta. He's living in Atlanta. He don't live in New York. Man. He from New York. Hey, yo, B, yeah. that was the whole, that's the whole issue. Because the nigga living in Atlanta. That's why he's saying this shit he's saying now. Cause he but that's <laughs> what I'm saying, bro. Every time the heat come, yeah. it's get out the way. He but when it's a barbecue... Oh, oh, nigga, party boy. over here when it's a barbecue. Party over here, party over there. Here come the heat. Hey, man, I'm just a gardener. Man, that's a fact. Because at that point, at that point, we were you were going at it with everybody. Everybody was on your hotel. Like you had the Hoover thing going. You had that shit with Hoover. Oh, yeah. You didn't give a fuck. It was you was hot. You, it was. It was. It was. It was going, no fuck. No fuck. Why Stood I on ain't square. Stuck nothing. I ain't ran into no cave or none of that. None of that shit. Didn't turn your tail on the team. Didn't do nothing. You stood stirring and you stirred for him. And I, that's why, man, hey, these dudes is pussy. I ain't even gonna lie. He couldn't even stand in the heat. He, 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 he ain't no general. He Whack got up. beef no with everybody. That's whack problem. What that got to do with you? But as soon as beef come with the motherfuckers you, you with, you leave them. I'm not mob tied, nigga. This mob. I've been mob tied since 2019. I'm not mob tied. I've been mob tied since 2019. I'm not mob tied. I'm a. <laughs> What you mean? Why are you getting into it with everybody? So I have to disassociate myself from you. Nigga, I ain't never reached for you to do nothing for me, bro, in life. I wouldn't. I don't know you like that. I don't know why you beat your life since you was fighting. I'm going to keep it 100. That's a real... I don't know, nigga. So I'm going to keep it real simple with you. Man, whack. He don't want you in. How you gonna separate They were the two top heads. They were the two top heads in the indictment. They were the two top people. Him and his brother were the two top people in the indictment. I'm gonna yeah. take a look at that. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I think he's still tall, though, B. I'm gonna take a look at that and watch. I don't know. So, just based on that, since you telling me I'm working with something, my nigga, I beat my cases all right. I got my work. I think you need to put that work up, bro. I turn over them case numbers to us, bro. You know, if you're going to keep it gangster, nigga, turn the case numbers over to us, bro. Let us check it out. Because in the back of my head, it was just, I know Slay fuck with you. I ain't never hit you talking about I'm going to be here, send some soldiers, or I need to hold something, but none of that ever in life. I don't want to be around no nigga that's worried about how many niggas I get into it with anyway. That's my point. I never knew he was worried about it because I don't have that type of conversation with him. Man, that shit crazy. Just, just like I was saying yesterday, nigga, that's equivalent to me saying, oh, hell no, nah, fuck whack, because I'm in Texas and this nigga into it with Jay Prince. Fuck out of here, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That's crazy. Nigga, that shit is nuts. Just crazy. Hey, his voice yesterday sounded like somebody that was debriefing, dropping out of the hood. He was basically denouncing the hood. He denounced the hood yesterday. He denounced all things that had to do with it yesterday. In that room, we had that little section he had. He denounced the whole hood. He denounced sex money. He denounced all that shit. Because he's scared. Nigga was... Self-serving ass nigga. Now you find yourself in... <laughs> oh, it's just like pick a side Put yourself in the middle of some shit. You jumping everywhere. You bouncing all over the fucking place. That's the problem. 
the fucking Transformer. Let me, yeah, let me give you a timeline real quick. I think the Transformer. I'm going to give you this timeline real quick. Okay, so he gets the chain back. He moves to Atlanta. He got the problem now in Atlanta because of the, the offset shit. Now he's got to find somewhere else to move. He denounced the hood. He denounced his hood because his hood got mad at him in New York. They said, nah, what the fuck you doing? Okay, so he left. So he don't got the hood over there. He Now he don't got this. Where is he going now? He probably going to go to Tennessee or some shit like that. Is he still trying to be a rapper, though? Nah, he ain't like, coming here, beast. Speaking of him being a rapper, that nigga screams out mob ties and damn near all his songs, all his current ones. He's funny. Why? Yeah. He be screaming out mob ties yeah. in his fucking music. Let me find one. Nah, nah, go get one. That's I ain't never heard none of his music. I've never heard none of his music, bro. Hey, Wack, he got a lot of unreleased with um DMX. Uh, he was DMX little homie for real. Man, let, let me explain something to you, bro. He knew DMX like I knew DMX. Okay, everybody know everybody. Did DMX do? Is he on DMX album? Um, he got some unreleased stuff that uh. He is he on DMX? No, no, he's not. no sir. No, no he's not. sir. He did shows with him before he passed. That's about. Oh, so mean. they was getting hot. They're dope fiends. What together. you mean he did shows with him? You mean he came out at six o'clock when the doors open? No, or no, no. On me stage, on DMX split the headliner set with him. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. DMX. DMX, yeah, DMX bro, I, I know DMX ain't let that nigga split his set. Not split the set, no, 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 I ain't going there. I ain't going. Okay, so he came out and filled a slot. Sure, sure, sure. Slot. Yeah, yeah. Right. Probably five minutes, cause that's too long for a nigga they don't know. <laughs> it is. You three songs, get the fuck out of there. They gonna boo your ass. I don't know new artists need to be doing nothing over three songs, nigga. Mm -hmm. Until they learn your music, they will throw, they will boo your ass. That's a fact. Or they'll start going to the bathroom on you. Yep, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they be at the bar on you the whole time, sitting at the bar. I want to hear this song. I ain't never listened to his music. Yeah, he, yeah, I heard it. Damn, oh, he got souls where he's screaming, Mob Guys? I don't know none of that. Let me, I'm checking the, um, I'm checking the song that I heard. Hold on. I ain't, I ain't, oh, that's crazy. Hey, Wag, well, you probably heard, they had a buzz back with the Bang Bang Boogie thing, but that's been a while. Bang Bang Boogie, what's that? Like Fat Joe was co-signing him. It was a Bronx thing. It was a Bronx thing. My son was involved when he was still that's riding. Next door. Hold on, bro, wait, wait, slow down. Y'all got to cut. Hold on, bro. Bro, my son just became a social media I'm with you, dog. Yeah. halfway blogger 18 months ago. My son ain't never got his own rap career off the ground. So you saying my son was involved says what? Nah, but this is this is DV, this is 08, 09, 2010. He was, was really fucked ago. up. That's when he was running around. He he's never had a situation. It came out with that bang bang boogie because. It was this and Fat Joe and all that shit. Cuba Links was di was down with that dumbass yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that shit didn't survive at all. So the song was this and Fat Joe. No, the group was this and Fat Joe. They had a whole group called Bang Bang Boogie. So whose song was it? Twenty niggas or one nigga? It was a lot. It's like six niggas. <laughs> 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 it was just some fancy people. It was Cuba the Bronx Lane, shit. Tyson, all these niggas from the Bronx. Yeah, it was a Bronx thing. Yeah, yeah. A group. So the only reason why it had validity is because it was going they were, Yeah, they, they had to use Fat Joe names so okay. they could have some validity, yes. We have then, a that song shit didn't even go no. a song that ain't clout chasing a nigga name. Of course, Fat Joe didn't even pay him no mind. That shit was broken. No, I'm saying, guys. Hocus have a song that y'all said had a buzz. That wasn't, that ain't got nothing to do with cloud chasing the nigga. No, I can't speak on them. Okay. So I'm Fat Joe and Fat Joe is me. I guess so, yep. <laughs> you funny. <laughs>